Hey everyone, I have been asked many times about my opinion of lifting straps. Do I use them? When should they be used? Do I consider them cheating? Are they just a waste of time? In this video, I'm gonna address your questions and tell you when and how to use lifting straps. First, what the heck are lifting straps? Lifting straps are strips of material, usually nylon, leather, or canvas, that wrap around your wrist and around the barbell to ensure a secure grip. Before I talk about lifting straps, I want to address deadlift grips because the majority of people who use lifting straps are using them for deadlifts. A double overhand grip is the position that a beginner will grab the barbell because it makes the most sense. Eventually, the lifter's strength will increase to a point where grip is the limiting factor. The big muscle groups of the legs and back will be strong enough to move the weight, but the small muscles responsible for grip will not allow them to pick the barbell up. What should someone do in this situation? Well, the first solution and the obvious solution would be to strengthen your grip. My favorite way to increase grip strength is with high rep deadlifts, two to three sets of 10 to 15 reps with a double overhand grip. Lightening the weight and doing higher reps with a double overhand grip will tax the hands and forearms enough to force them to grow stronger. I also like doing farmer's walks for a long distance. Twice a week, I would suggest performing three to four sets of 30 second farmer's walks with farmer's handles, dumbbells, kettlebells, or plates, whatever you have access to. Aside from actually strengthening your grip, there are other ways that you can make gripping the barbell easier. You can use an alternating grip. Most people prefer to place their dominant hand in the overhand position and their non-dominant hand in the supinated position. This prevents the barbell from rolling out of your hands because as it rolls down one hand, it rolls up the other. This grip can be used when the weight gets too heavy to handle with a double overhand grip. I would suggest always warming up with a double overhand grip to get some extra grip work in before switching to the alternating grip. Beware, alternating grip can cause some problems. Having one hand in the prone position and one hand in the supinated position can place uneven stress on the shoulders. In my past experience, I noticed that after a year of consistently deadlifting for high reps, I had a huge imbalance in my traps. The trap on the side of my supinated hand was much bigger than the trap on the side of my prone hand. It was so bad that I could feel the imbalance when I laid on my back to bench press. So I decided I would just switch hand positions and go from there. Easy fix, right? Not exactly. It was kind of like I was trying to wipe my butt with my non-dominant hand. It was extremely uncomfortable and very foreign and I felt like I was twisting and leaning to get down to the barbell. This severely affected my ability to deadlift. Another possible downside to using the alternating grip is that it can place a lot of stress on the bicep of the supinated hand. I blame this on our instinct to move the weight with our hands. Anyone who has ever had a bicep injury might want to stay away from supinating the hand of the injured bicep. Another downside to using the alternating grip that I've personally seen in novice deadlifters is a tendency to let the barbell drift away from their body on the side of the supinated hand. Letting the barbell drift away from your body while deadlifting is not good. Granted, that's probably user error and not necessarily the grip's fault, but it's still a problem that I need to address. With all of that said, I am not trying to sell you anything, and I am not here trying to tell you that an alternating grip is bad. There are thousands of great deadlifters who have used the alternating grip for several years with no problems. All I'm doing is advising that you do not get carried away with the alternating grip. Only use it when you need it. Switching hand positions each set or each training session can be done, but usually you tend to prefer one side over the other. Then you tend to favor that side, eventually ditching the other. As for me, I actually gave up using the alternate grip altogether because of the problems that I've had with it. What do I do now? Enter the hook grip. The hook grip is a style of grip that all Olympic weightlifters use. Instead of wrapping your thumbs over the top of your fingers, you place your thumb on the barbell and wrap your fingers on top. This allows the weight of the barbell to lock your thumbs into position. Your thumbs act as a hook. This makes the weight easier to hold, but it hurts like hell. If you decide to use it, just stick with it. Eventually, your thumbs will get used to it. Now that you are better educated on grip positions, let's talk about lifting straps.
Lifting straps should always be used if the lifter has had a hand injury that prevents them from gripping the barbell. A torn callus, a sprained or dislocated finger are valid reasons to use lifting straps. Like I said earlier, alternating hand positions can place uneven stress on the shoulders and bicep. And if you've recently had an injury to those parts of your body, I would suggest using a hook grip or lifting straps on your heavier sets. If you are already getting plenty of grip training in other parts of your routine, for example, strongman training, using lifting straps is totally fine and it actually might be suggested. When I'm gearing up for a strongman competition, I frequently use lifting straps. I might be training the continental clean with an axle bar, weighted carries like Farmers, Frame, or Husafel, Atlas stone loads, keg loads, all in the same week as my deadlifts. In this case, deadlifting with straps is not a big deal because I'm getting plenty of grip training through other exercises. And actually, not using straps can negatively affect me because I might overtrain my grip. Using lifting straps for assistance work is usually okay. You need to use your honest judgment when deciding whether or not you should use lifting straps for your assistance work. It all depends on what you're trying to get out of your assistance work. For example, barbell rows and dumbbell rows are a great assistance exercise for strengthening your upper back. They are also great for increasing your grip strength. If you are relatively new to lifting and your deadlift volume is low, one, two, or three sets of five reps, and you notice that your grip is starting to fail you, I would suggest starting to incorporate some high rep strapless barbell and dumbbell rows as a grip strengthener. However, if you are a strong deadlifter who struggles to lock the weight out of the top and grip is not an issue for you, you might start using high rep barbell and dumbbell rows as an upper back strengthener, not necessarily a grip strengthener. In this case, using straps to handle heavier weights is totally fine. You're probably going to need to use straps when you're handling more weight than you can pull from the floor. Using lifting straps for rack pulls or barbell shrugs with a weight at or above your deadlift max is okay. You should always, always, always use lifting straps in a competition that allows you to use lifting straps. You are not allowed to use lifting straps for a powerlifting meet, but you can use them in strongman competitions. You do not get extra points for not using them. In my general opinion, if you have been lifting for less than two years, you don't need to worry about using lifting straps in the gym. I understand that everyone's starting numbers and progress will be different, but I think that as a beginner, you have so much room to grow that I think you should use those couple of years to strengthen your grip rather than use straps. Do not, for the love of strength, use lifting straps because your hands hurt from deadlifting. That is all a part of the process of getting stronger. You shouldn't skip a training session because your muscles are sore, and you shouldn't use, my hands hurt, as an excuse to deadlift with straps. Lastly, do not use lifting straps for pull-ups, hanging leg raises, or any form of curl. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, as promised, I will cover how to use lifting straps. It might seem pretty obvious, but at every single strongman competition I've attended, I always see someone using them incorrectly or someone not using them because they don't know how. There are many types of straps, but for this video, I will cover the most common type I've seen, the loop strap. Place the strap over your wrist so that the end of the strap is going in the direction of your thumb. Secure the strap tight against your wrist. Now, place your non-dominant hand on the barbell. Wrap the strap under the barbell. Do not wrap the strap over the barbell. The order should be hand, barbell, strap. Not hand, strap, barbell. Now, wrap the strap around the barbell in towards the other hand. Once the strap is wrapped around the barbell, you can spin and tighten the strap until you feel a secure grip. Repeat with the dominant hand. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like it, share it, and subscribe. But always remember, 
Dread on time.